can you guys review Disney Plus? It seems like nowadays every major media company has their own streaming app. It's kind of hard knowing which one is actually worth having if you can't afford having them all at once. So that's what we're going to help out with today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Disney Plus. I have a few bullet points that we're going to get through today to see if Disney Plus is really worth your hard-earned buccaronis. Is it really worth it? How much backlog and catalog does Disney Plus actually have? So who is Disney Plus for? I feel like Disney Plus can be enjoyed by a wide age demographic. It has things for younger kids like pre-K through elementary, but it also has things for an older audience like MCU films, and it even has a few rated R films like Deadpool. So while I feel like it does have a wide range of content for different age groups, it still focuses on content geared more towards children but I still do believe the content is very worth. You do have access to a ridiculous amount of content on Disney Plus. It has a lot of the old Disney classics. And when I say classics, I mean content from the 1930s when Disney first started animating to current day Disney Pixar CGI animation. If you're a big animation fan, you really can't go wrong. You're gonna see classic animation that you can't get anywhere else. I think Disney did a really good job with including obscure cartoons. And of course, they have more modern day Disney Renaissance animation when they started back in the 90s. So like the Lion Kings, Little Mermaids, and so on, to more modern day early 2000s, like The Incredibles and Monsters A. They also have content for your non-traditional Disney enjoyer. You can get your Marvel and MCU fix with the movies and now the expanded shows that they have for a bunch of the different characters. But they also have the other biggest franchise in the world. Disney has all the Star Wars content that you're gonna need. They have all three trilogies and they have a bunch of new shows and spinoffs and all the cartoons and animations as well. So you really can't go wrong with getting your Star Wars fix on Disney+. Plus. Disney Plus also has something not a lot of people might realize. You get access to Nat Geo. So you're gonna get a ton of great quality nature documentaries and a lot of reality-based TV shows. So yeah, when you get Disney Plus, you get a crazy amount of diversified content that you're definitely not gonna find somewhere else. Right now on Disney Plus, they don't care about password sharing. So you can share your password so you have it on other devices while they're playing different things at the same time. Meaning you can pretty much split the cost with your friends and family, saving you even more money. Now let's talk about the user interface on Disney+. Plus. I feel like the user interface is actually really good. They simplified a lot of the commands that we normally use while streaming. So like pause, rewind, fast forward, those features, very polished. They actually have a really good recommendation page as well. So when you first download the app, it just has a little bit of everything. As you start using it more, it's gonna start tailoring your recommendations more to your content you've already watched. So overall, I think Disney Plus has had a really solid user interface since the very beginning, and it just keeps getting better with every update. And in conclusion, we've spoken about these topics now, so it's time to rate the app. So here at DupeTube, we felt that it was fair to have two different ratings. If you have children, we believe that it's a fair score to give Disney Plus an eight out of 10. You really can't go wrong for the price and the content that you're getting for children is unmatched. Our second score is if you don't have children. We felt that it's fair to give it a seven out of 10 because the content is there for adults, but if you don't have kids, we felt that it's definitely gonna take points off since it's more geared towards children. So thank you guys again for watching our video. We've discussed everything we really can about Disney Plus and how we feel about it. So don't forget to leave any questions you guys have down in the comments. And please don't forget guys, like, subscribe to our channel. Have a great day guys, take care of yourself.